from the NBC26 Precision Forecast Center, meteorologist Brian Nisnanski. As we head into the weekend, we're keeping our eyes off to the west. That's where there is a storm system brewing that's going to bring quite a bit of snow across some of the northern Rocky Mountain states and over towards the northern plains. For us, we're going to stay on the warm side of things, so it's going to be just mainly rainfall across northeastern Wisconsin. We'll be dry today, but again, we're going to look for our chances of rain to arrive uh, later on this evening. Here's your precision satellite and radar. This morning, you'll notice that we do have some clouds at least across the northern parts of the area. We should see at least a little bit of sun uh, to start our day before clouds thicken up for everybody uh, during the day today. It is a mild start out there. 42, your current temperature in Green Bay, currently 37 in Appleton. Keep in mind the normal uh, uh, low temperature for uh, this time of year is at 30 degrees, even some upper 20s in some of our locations. So again, we're good uh, 5 to 10 degrees above that. Uh, 39 in Sturgeon Bay, 39 in Kiwani, 41 your current temperature in Wapaka. As we look across the Midwest here, you'll notice there is a pocket of even warmer air just to the southwest of us. 45 in Des Moines, 51 in Kansas City. Warmth starting to build down here and uh, with the south wind later on this weekend, some of that warm air is headed for us. In fact, our high temperatures are going to get close to 60 this weekend. 59 on Saturday, 60 on Sunday. Cold air starts to work in here with a cold front. Uh, looks like Sunday night into Monday. High temperatures on Monday only around 38, 38 on Tuesday back into the lower 40s uh, the middle part of next week. So let's go through your forecast highlights. Now again, these next couple of days, we're going to have some mild temperatures. We'll look for the showers to arrive later on this evening and into Saturday. At least the first part of Saturday looks soggy. We may hit a little dry patch uh, Saturday afternoon into Sunday morning. Then the second round of rain, this second round of rain could be the heavier rainfall uh, that arrives Sunday midday and into the afternoon. The Midwestern satellite and radar this morning. For the most part, things are quiet across the Great Lakes, but you'll notice there were a few light rain and snow showers across uh, northern Minnesota. That's the leading edge of the storm system. So let's go through a precision cast. As we head into this afternoon, you'll notice the clouds starting to thicken up. Now along this warm front you see here stretching across the state, that's where we'll see some showers develop later on this evening and heading into tonight. You can see them here still tomorrow morning uh, showers right across northeastern Wisconsin. As we head into tomorrow night, we may catch a break from the rainfall before more rain arrives as we head into the uh, Sunday, and that will be with this cold front, and that cold front again really cools things down uh, by Monday. Your forecast for today, partly to mostly cloudy skies, a high of 49 degrees. For tonight, we'll look for a low of 43. Showers become likely tonight and mild. Again, low temperatures in the 40s. 59 for your high on Saturday. Saturday, at least Saturday morning, is pretty soggy. We Maybe dry Saturday afternoon. So if you got some plans outdoors or want to maybe finish up on some fall cleaning outside, uh, Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning may be the time to do it because by Sunday afternoon, I think rain will become likely again, maybe in some thunderstorms. Cold front moves through Monday, a high of only 38, and that could be a morning high temperature. By Monday afternoon, we could be in the 20s. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a weird weekend, so you're going to need the heat.